so good. They just need to send me these sauces bottled. On a Wednesday night in Tokyo, we went to a McDonald's near the iconic intersection of Shibuya Crossing. We came here to see how different the experience of being in a Japanese McDonald's is, as well as to try unique menu items that you can only get in this country. What will they be like? McDonald's was first opened in Japan in 1971. There are now nearly 3,000 locations in the country. Let's start with the queue. There's a menu to look at before you get to the main counter. As this branch is in one of the most touristy areas of the city, there are English translations, but I'm a bit surprised at how limited the options are. I counted 13 burger options, but there's only a few sides. There are two different teriyaki burgers on the menu, a standard and a chicken filet It's quite a wet feeling burger, it's like I've just dipped it in gravy, but oh God, the teriyaki taste on that is incredible. Got a little bit of mayo in there, some lettuce, there's obviously the beef patty and then teriyaki sauce. They put a nice lot of mayo in there and I really appreciate that because normally when you get mayo in a burger they just put a little tiny squirt in. There are four different types of book float on the menu, which is a Fanta soda, topped with the swell of vanilla soft serve. Got this kind of like Emerald City Wizard of Oz green going on here, which is normally not a colour that I would really want to drink. Not really getting much melon, but I'd say that's more like bubblegum. If you really like, if you want to drink green bubblegum, then get the melon float from McDonald's in Japan. There's also a cheap value menu of just 100 to 150 yen, for which you can get hot apple pie and shaka shaka chicken. This is a piece of fried chicken you put salt onto and then shake in a bag. It's crispy. Actually, the, the chicken's like fried really, really well. It's not cheesy. It's not, it's not cheesy. And I'm yet again disappointed by a packet of cheese flavouring. There's a grand range of burgers, which replaces quarter pounders. The expensive clubhouse burger with streaks of bacon and cheese. Grand bacon cheese and grand garlic pepper. The teriyaki burger smelled so good and I would very happily bottle that sauce and use it as perfume on myself. Uh, like this as well. The smell of some really great, sweet, sticky garlic sauce is just coming straight off that. It's got lettuce, um, it's got some uh, sprinkled seasoning in there as well. Tomato, mayo, onions and yeah, this garlic, uh, like peppery sauce on it as well. The burger buns in McDonald's in Japan taste unique. The buns here, they're so light and fluffy, just springs back at you when you push it. It's like a just a, a decent bread. Some of the other burgers are the bacon McPork, egg cheeseburger, and a chicken cheeseburger. As well as a standard filet of fish, you can get an ebby filet, which is made with chunks of shrimp. I'm expecting it to be ground up prawn, which is then somehow fried or battered, but you've actually got whole pieces of prawn in there. Got really nice of almost Thousand Island style dressing on top of it. Lettuce. Very simple, but good. It actually tastes quite fresh as well. It just, there's not to peel, it's to pinch and then clasp, which automatically just sounds like a recipe for disaster. Mmm, that's a, that's a really nice sesame sauce. It's um, got a little bit more texture of a. Uh, of, of like a mayo, it's just quite thick. There's also the standards like Big Macs, cheeseburgers, McNuggets and fries. Some of the fries, however, are a bit more unusual than that. Yes, I spotted something called Shaka Shaka Potato Butter Soy Sauce. This quite literally translates into butter soy sauce salt. I don't know if it would have been to the cinema and like you've gone to get a handful of your mate's popcorn and instead of being salted if you thought it was salted, it's actually sweet and you get a handful of sweet popcorn when you're expecting salt. This is it. It went on like a salt, 
it says the word salt in the title, in the name of it, and it, it just tastes like a sweet butter. Mm. Sweet, sweet fries. Mm. The menu had a special four berry shake the day we went. Also, on the sweets menu is an Oreo cookie McFlurry and a McFlurry with extra Oreos, in case you didn't get enough Oreos the first time. I've got here in my hand is a four berry shake. Okay, I can I smell berries. I can't taste berries. I actually, it tastes exactly the same as the melon. So maybe there's just some bubble gum blender back there they bung everything into, but. Mm. I'm also this mosquito is really enjoying this as well. So what did we think overall? This might not be a typical experience of all McDonald's in Japan, but being British, I appreciated queuing one side and then waiting in a separate line for my food. Also, the range of burgers was great. Something for everyone from Calbee Max to Egg Cheeseburger to the Grand Range. The buns are very sweet, even for McDonald's bread. But I still couldn't get over how good that teriyaki sauce was. 